Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to show you this deck. It's called Change of Heart. Change of Heart, I like to use for Kaya 1. Kaya 1 has a really good Ruinous Wake ability here. You can read it for yourself, but it says move all graveyards to your opponent's exile, then deal damage to your opponent's planeswalker equal to the number of cards in their exile. So what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna to try to build for this Ruinous Wake ability by stacking that graveyard as high as possible, trying to get as many cards into that graveyard as possible and we're going to be able to exile those those cards and we're going to put it into the opponent's exile and do a lot of damage to the opponent if this works out well and this is the way i'm trying to make sure that we can get a ton of cards into the graveyard into the opponent's exile so we can get the damage done this is uh, one of the important cards here. It's Angel of Suffering. You can read it for yourself again, but it says here, when you take damage or lose life, gain X life, then destroy the top X cards of your library. X is the life lost or damage taken. So basically what's gonna happen is every single time we take damage, this card is gonna throw cards into our graveyard and gain the life back that we lost. So really what it's gonna do is it's gonna help us put a lot of things in our graveyard and that's going to help us to load up for that final ability, that Ruinous Wake. Here's another one that kind of helps us do the same thing, right? This is Lord Xander the Collector. The second ability here is what we're going to try to focus on using. It says, when this creature attacks, destroy the top five cards of your opponent's library. And um, basically, mill 30, gain, gain 10 loyalty. That part we really don't have to worry about, but the, the big thing is when we are throwing all these cards into the graveyard, throwing all these cards into the uh, exile for our opponent, we're going to be able to do a ton of damage with the Ruinous Wake. All right. Some of these other cards, you can keep them, you can throw them out, you can use whatever you have. Um, I, I kind of like these cards because they help us get to where we want to go quickly. Right, so Grizzle Brand, I like this one. Basically, it helps us to lose life and the life that we lost. Of course, if you have Angel of Suffering, it'll turn that into life gained and it'll turn it into uh, creature cards, spell cards, whatever, into your graveyard. But the thing is with this one, Grizzle Brand, if you choose to lose seven life at the beginning of your turn, you're gonna be able to get a free card in your hand. So that's real good. Okay, um, you can take a look, and as I said, you can get rid of some of them, you can keep some of them, do whatever you want, guys, but you can kind of see here um, basically how this deck is supposed to flow. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we'll get Angel of Suffering real quick. There's Grizzle Brand, that's nice. Grizzle Brand is, uh, is really good to help us get things for free, as I mentioned. All right, we'll go with this here. Now, this is for Kaya 1, as I said. And Kaya 1, you can take a look over here. You got a 5 and a 5 for green and white. I'm sorry, uh, black and white. So that's going to be what we try to focus on. Grizzle Brand is there. I'm going to turn this off because that one's going to get us some damage uh, done to ourselves. But the problem is we don't have our Angel of Suffering yet. So hopefully we get that Angel of Suffering real quick. Oh, looks like the opponent's putting out some good cards. Uh, they're going to probably be trying to use those cards to destroy us here, and uh, we'll see. There's Grizzle Brand. Okay. A static Net. Static Net's one of those new cards here. It basically helps you to exile stuff, right? So that's, that's kind of good. Um, I think we'll go with Snuff Out. We're going to aim it here at this Holebreaker Horror, obviously because that's a that's a good card that the opponent's going to try to use to do some damage to us. And we're going to try to, our best to prevent all of that. So here we are. Okay, let's get that card for free. Alright, here we are. Vraska Sting. Let's put that up next. And then let's move another Grizzle Brand up here. Okay. That looks about right. Okay, we'll go with this. Now, I'm kind of cognizant that I'm playing against Nicol Bolas 1. Nicol Bolas 1, you, anytime you play against him, you're going to have to be careful because he has this ability to destroy your creatures, right? So we're going to have to take that into consideration and 
kind of plan for that ahead of time. He he's definitely one of those that you know has, has a, a good strong ability and and he's definitely something that we're gonna have to account for. Go. Oh look, I could have used my uh my ability here. Okay, let's see. Confirm. No, not yet. Now, as I mentioned, what we're really hoping for is we're hoping to make sure that we get our Angel of Suffering. This card here, Vraska Sting, that kind of helps us to do that. All right, let's get rid of this. We already have one. Helm of the Gods as well. We can get rid of that. I'm going to turn Grizzlebran off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let him go. And I'm going to put this Grizzlebran up. As I mentioned, we're going to want to keep one in the hand that's fully paid off and ready to roll uh, because the opponent's going to be able to destroy this one here. All right, so we got to be prepared and have something for our backup. I'll go, yes, this will pay off this card here. There we are, Ignite the Beacon. All right, Ignite the Beacon. We'll play our uh, Chain Veil. That's going to help us lose some life, which will, of course, help us to, to build up our graveyard. Now, we got some cards in the hand that we're definitely going to be able to use. This one, Ignite the Beacon. We're going to try to play that one as soon as we can. And the reason, of course, is that we're going to want to get that angel out. Our, uh, our angel is suffering. There we go. Okay. Angel of suffering, please. There we are. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get uh, some nice cascades and get an Angel of Suffering out for us. Uh, yeah, let's use... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I already have a creature paid off. Okay, all right, let's see. We got some things that we can do here. I'm gonna try to play a little more aggressive and get the Angel of Suffering out. There's the Chain Veil, Static Net, okay. Now, let's see if we can, there we go. Losing a ton of life, that, that ton of life gets put back and we're able to put it into the graveyard in the form of cards. So that's gonna be good. And let's see, we'll lose seven extra here. That's gonna help us to put more cards into the graveyard. I'm getting excited, guys, because I, I can tell this game's over already. Throwing these guys away. We'll lose three more life. As we're losing the life, as you can see, we'll lose the life. Our Angel of Suffering will put the life back, and we'll throw those cards into the graveyard for our Ruinous Wake ability. And there's a big shot right there. That's, that's huge. That's going to help us to win this game, guys, as you can tell. That's it for us. I um, hope you guys like the deck. Like and subscribe, and it helps the channel. Okay, um, that's it for me. Good gaming, guys.